ASUS approached me last month and said, hey Marco, what are you busy with? Do you want to review this? Okay, this is the ROG Maximus Z690 Hero eBay edition. And I was like, yeah, cool, bring it, bring it, drop it off, let's do something. Little did I know that this one motherboard review was going to result in all of this stuff. Because ASUS now has a whole range of EVA stuff. As you can see, this is the liquid cooler. And we have the headset. That is the headset, hey? Yes. And we have the mouse pad. And we have the SSD enclosure. And we have the RTX 3080. And we have the mouse. And we have the power supply that is comes in a ridiculous box. I mean, this thing is so heavy. Listen, it is like proper solid. The keyboard, keyboard. This is the case. And the 27 inch monitor. So the goal here is to take all of the stuff, every single component and build a whole EVA PC. So I was thinking the best way to do this is probably unbox everything first. I know the motherboard I've already had for a while. So I did already put the CPU in, but I'll show you what it looks like. They sent me a Core 9 it's a 12900H. It's quite pretty. They also sent me XPG RAM. That's the motherboard. I'm really interested to see what is inside this damn power supply because that's a hectic box. Let's open that up. Velcro. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh God, it's inside here. Cables are in here. Cool little insert. And then here's the pulse. Oh wow, look at that, eh? There's something else. That's pretty cool. Graphics card. Let's see. Just the sheer presentation alone on this range is absolutely insane. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. This is this is a lot. I'm not gonna even lie. This is it's really pretty. Like it's just so damn so damn striking this is the best idea to open it on the desk Asus's Evangelion range is an impressive lineup of PC hardware and components that, if you have enough money to buy it all, can kit you out with everything you need to build an entire gaming PC and have it looking pretty awesome at the same time. We are talking about a mouse, a keyboard, headset, RTX 3080, power supply, mouse pad, motherboard, cooler, gaming case, monitor and even an SSD case. I originally set out to only review the ASUS ROG Maximus Z690 AVA motherboard. However, after I told ASUS I don't have other components to use in the review, the brand decided to send me everything. Literally everything. I have been tripping over boxes and packaging for a week now due to the sheer number of ROG AVA components in my house. But after spending a few days rigorously wiring a PC case in the dark thanks to load shedding, I wanted to fully showcase each and every component I had the joy of playing around with. Because it's always nice to see something go from boxes of components to a fully workable piece. 
PC. This way you can also get a good look at what ASUS has on offer with this awesome Evangelion range. Everything you see in the video is either currently available or plans on being released by the end of the year. You can also get non-AVA versions of this hardware across the range so if you see something you like but don't like the AVA style, you can always opt for the base versions without the cool looking mechs and neon color palettes. But before we get to the PC components, let's cover the accessories first. Here we have the Delta S headset. This 300 gram headset packs some pretty impressive tech. You get ASUS RGB Aura lighting and an active noise cancelling microphone and a set of high res ESS9281 Quad DAC converter speakers. For those who don't know, DAC stands for Digital to Analog and provides lossless audio processing. The fact that there are four DAC converters in this headset means that each frequency that comes into the headset is processed for the best possible sound. That combined with the noise cancelling microphone means that you'll get a fantastic experience whether you're shooting hard on the moon in Destiny or raging at your team in a competitive game. Here we have the ROG Keras wireless mouse, and it's definitely one of the most vibrant accessories I've seen. Its bright purple shell stood out on my desk, and even its charging wire is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It is also quite a powerhouse and only weighs 79 grams. It comes packed with a 16,000 dpi ROG sensor with swappable switch design, meaning you can easily change the side buttons to other textures and pressure switches that come in the box. The mouse also comes with a swappable push fit switch socket design, so you can change the main click buttons with alternative force versions if you prefer more feedback, or you can simply swap them out to extend the lifespan of your mouse. When it comes to the Scabo 2 mouse pad, it's pretty busy. I usually prefer a plain and simple mouse pad, so this one definitely caught my eye. The Scabo 2 features unique design with patterns scattered across the surface. The patterns represent the contrast between Nerve and Ava. ASUS says it is also 1.5 times smoother than most mouse pads on the market, and it is also incredibly thin at only 3mm. The Scabo 2 is also quite durable and resistant to water, oil, and dust, while also being anti fray at the same time. This specific version is 900 by 400 mm and it looks pretty awesome with this Keras mouse gliding around on the surface, just saying. Matching its mouse counterpart, the ROG Strix Scope follows the Ava Ranger's iconic purple and green design with its striking outer shell. This optical mechanical gaming keyboard packs Aura RGB in all the right places and is also IP57 waterproof and dust resistant. The top of the keyboard is made from an alloy plate and it boasts a USB 2.0 pass-through. The Strix Scope has some really cool Ava design features. Not only does the keyboard have a striking purple shell, but it packs some nice decals on a handful of the key too. The space bar features an Ava mech that has been water transferred onto the plastic shell. The extended control key is also decorated with print. The keyboard also comes with some cool transparent caps that are placed over the exclusive Ava RX switches. If that's not enough for you, in the box you'll find additional Ava inspired caps that you can swap around to customize your keyboard. These are easily swappable with the included key removal tool. The last of the accessories comes in the form of the Arian SSD enclosure. This metal case packs a removable faceplate that once taken off can be used to install an M.2 NVMe SSD. It comes with everything you need to install the SSD too. It has a screwdriverless design, included thermal pads and fits a PCIe 2280, 2260, 2242 and 2230 SSD. Depending on your SSD, the case also supports USB 3.2 Gen 2x1 Type-C, dual USB-C to C and USB-C to A thanks to its included cables. You can get speeds of up to 8 gigabits per second from the case, all dependent on your SSD of course. It wouldn't be an ASUS ROG device without including ASUS Aura Sync on it too. This means you can sync up the RGB lighting to your PC so it can glow alongside with all your other cool Ava hardware. It's a glowing SSD case. Gotta love it. Okay, onto the PC build now. The ROG Strix Helios gaming case is the perfect place to house all your other Evangelion components. This gargantuan case comes with a three-sided tempered glass design supported by an aluminium frame. It comes with GPU braces to support those extra large graphics cards and also includes 420mm radiator support. On the top, the case comes with some great port support. There's a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port and four USB 3.0 ports and audio jacks. Given that I had to build this PC, I spent a lot of time with the case and putting the PC together was actually quite a lot of fun. The case provides some nice room for all the Ava components including a translucent power supply housing that perfectly shows off the display of the Thor unit. More on that later. There's also a door hinge design on the one side that can be screwed closed once all the cables have been plugged in and installed. 
The case also boasts some cool Evangelion art scattered across it. The front has an Ava 1 mech that lights up, and this complements the giant number 1 on the inside and the Ava 1 design on the GPU braces. The case also comes with purple and green finishes. This is found on the hand straps, corner surfaces, and even at the bottom of the case. Asus has even included purple and green plates for the PCIe grates at the back of the case. So the heart and mind of this PC, and the thing that I was originally supposed to review, was the Z690 Hero motherboard. It has been designed with inspiration from Evo 1 and has also features a purple and green design scattered around the hardware. When it comes to the specs, it boasts 4 DDR5 slots, support for the latest Intel LGA1700 chipsets, 3 M.2 slots, and comes with an additional ROG Hyper M.2 card that could be installed onto the motherboard if you plan on using it. The Maximus Z690 Hero also packs extra heat sinks found near the M.2 slots and other chipsets. This helps provide extra cooling and heat dissipation. The board also comes with some pretty cool RGB called Polymo Lighting. It packs two RGB patterns that can be swapped around. This is then connected to the ASUS Aura Sync, meaning you can change the color of the board at the same time. It offers a unique style that you won't see anywhere else. This Polymo Lighting basically sees two of the Ava mechs swapping around while the motherboard is lit. While the motherboard is Ava 1 inspired, the Ryogen 2 cooler takes inspiration from Nerve. It features Nerve ARGB fans that complement the gunmetal pump outer shell design. The pump is made from a 9 piece mechanism that packs airflow vents, a gasket, a high flow rate impeller, and is all attached to a 3.5 inch full color LCD. This LCD is then fully customizable and can monitor the fan speed and the temperature or just showcase some cool art that you have around. Using the Armor Crate software, you can easily tweak this to your liking. On its own, the Nvidia RTX 3080 is already a chunky and eye-catching GPU, but Asus has taken it to a whole new level with the Evangelion Edition. It packs a unique Ava 1 cover on the top and a full purple backplate. The fans are black and feature Nerve and Ava 1 stickers, and the outer plastic packs a purple and green stripe layout. These fans are part of ASUS's Axial Tech design. This means that the fans boast more fins across more surface area. The middle fan has 13 fins while the outer two pack 11. This enhances the cooling in the middle of the GPU where the heat spreader is located. It goes without saying that this RTX 3080 is a beastly card and packs 12GB of GDDR6X RAM. It also has a cool Aura Sync lighting feature on the outside of the card that lights up the entire surface of the GPU. Now to power this whole PC, you also need a hefty power supply and ASUS has the perfect one. Usually power supplies are boring metal boxes with wires sticking out of them, but ASUS has designed the ROG Thor 1000 watt to follow the stylish Ava style sheet. This is seen in the Nerve artwork found on the one side of the unit. It comes with a light up ROG logo and a crystal edge that can sync to your system's lighting. It also packs a wattage display that can show off what your PC is currently using. Now out of everything I played with, there was one thing that I really would have loved to have as a permanent addition to my gaming setup, and that's the 27 inch Strix monitor. This monitor packs some great specs, including a WQHD panel with display HDR400. It comes with a 144 refresh rate that is overclockable to 270Hz. You'll also get 97% DCI-P color space, and it is a gaming dream. But beyond the specs, this monitor is also incredibly stylish, thanks to its even getting on design. If anything, this is the most Ava product in the rain, so if you're looking to pick one thing up, make sure it's this. Right from the purple and green stands to the striking accents on the back casing, it is so unique and looks fantastic on display. You'll want to rotate this monitor back to front when you're not using it just so you can look at it and have people also walk by and be like, what the hell is that? It also comes with all the ports you'll need, including audio out, two display 1.4 ports, two HDMI 2.0 ports, and two USB 3.2 ports. It also supports Aura Sync so you can sync the ROG logo at the back to your PC and everything else you have lit up at the same time. So there you have it, the entire ASUS ROG Evangelion range. I had the absolute best time working on this project. Everything worked so well together, and you can definitely feel the ASUS ROG ecosystem working when you combine all the products together. Throughout the week I had load shedding and it was really fun to build this in the dark and for those who don't know load shedding is when your power gets taken away because there isn't enough resources in the country to power everything so I built a lot of this PC in the dark and while that was frustrating nothing comes close to the power supply issue I had and it's probably the only issue I had the entire week with this PC build. The only issue I had was the CPU cable was too short for the case.
No matter what I did, I could not get it to run neatly along with the rest of the cables because of the length. If you do pick this case up and the motherboard and the power supply, make sure you get a longer CPU cable so that you can run it up and tack it all nice and neat so that it doesn't run across the back of the case like mine. I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking but honestly this is the only issue I had and it was an eyesore because nothing I could do would hide this cable away. It was always there and it's super tight already and it's right by the CPU so I'm just worried about damage but it was impossible to get this cable to run any other way. So huge thanks to Asus for sending all these products my way to play with. I also want to say thanks to my cat for being patient while I destroyed the office with boxes and wires while I built this PC. Yeah champ. It was not only a learning experience but also very exciting to see and play with. I not only learned so many things about a PC build, wiring and all that stuff but I also learned how to say Evangelion which is weird because I always used to say it as Evangelion which is apparently wrong so thanks to Asus for also teaching me how to say Evangelion. I said it um, as many times as possible in my head so I never got it wrong during this video. I'll also leave all the links to the products in the description below and I'll try to update them when pricing and release dates are announced locally. Again thanks for watching guys and if you have your eyes on any of these components let me know in the comments down below. Please do like and subscribe until next time farewell.